my name's Steve, and I do stuff with Unity. Yeah. Anyway, so in this video, I'm giving away a scene file called Racing City. This was a scene that I used for two of my asset store products. So I, I create car and racing type content, driving content for the Unity Asset Store. And one of the things that I needed to do was create a demo scene to showcase that work. So I'm a programmer, I'm not an artist, but I think that this scene file can be useful and I, I don't really want to sell it. Um, the point was just so that it could be a demo scene, but maybe some of you guys can find it useful. You can use it for prototyping or you could completely customize it and use it for your own games. Totally up to you. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this. So to get this free racing city package, it was built with unity 2018.4. So just when you get it, import it into any project 2018.4 or newer. Uh, the link is going to be in the download description. Just go to that URL, click download. You'll get this racing city unity package. And from there, you can just import it into your unity project and you'll be good to go. Uh, you'll get a folder, turn the game on racing city. And in that racing city folder, you'll have the racing city scene and all of the content that makes up that scene. So let's just go ahead and open that scene. It's, it's pretty actually a decent sized road network. Um, a lot of height variation. I used easy roads to build this. I built this about two years ago and I used builder to make the buildings. Um, there's not a whole lot of texture detail on the buildings. The buildings are actually really generic. Um, but the idea is that you can take all of these buildings, for example, and just turn them off and replace them with your own buildings. So you could completely customize the city, you could change out the ground textures, change out the trees. There is a unity terrain in here and the terrain is not being used to draw the landscape. So if we go over to terrain settings, we can see that draw is turned off. There's actually no textures assigned to the terrain. Um, and we're only using it to render the vegetation. That's about it. So that's what the terrain is there for. And the terrain has actually been converted into a mesh so that we, we can see that we have this mesh in here. And yeah, that's just using a custom shader with splat map from the terrain and the textures that were originally populated in the terrain. So it's a pretty optimized scene and yeah, let's, uh, let's just kind of take a look at it with some content in it. So simple traffic system actually uses this exact same demo. So really quick, if I jump over to simple traffic system demo scene, I actually have the environment turned off, but this is the, the way I provided the environment for that asset store pack demo. And again, that I'm not really providing art for the traffic asset. So I, I kind of just hacked it up and made it as small as it can be. Um, anyway, so I'll go back to the racing city and since they use the exact same scene per se, I will just grab my traffic system demo. So if you have the traffic system, this is a really quick way for you to get up and running with your prototype. Just bring all of that content from the traffic system, except the directional light and the environment, because we already have those two in the racing city. So I'll, I'll remove that content and then just press play. And now I have a nice looking scene with a ton of traffic all around and I could just load up a player car into the scene and drive around the scene. Which is pretty cool. So um, there is also a, a garage in the scene. So 
So this was one of the first models that I've ever created, and I used ProBuilder to do it. I'm a programmer, so ProBuilder was easy. Um, anyway, to each his own. I, I'm sure artists do a lot of funky things with um, code anyway, so I, I think you're good at what you're good at. Um, I do want to get more into art, but uh, there's just not a whole lot of time in a day. Anyway, I I made this with ProBuilder. It's not a super great model, but what's cool about it is that it does have an animation hooked up. So you could put your player car in there and the garage door opens when the scene starts. So there's a little animation clip assigned to it. You could actually open or close that door through the animation controller. And that's about it. Anyway, I, I hope you guys enjoy the scene file. Um, it's free. Use it if you want. Don't if you don't. And if you do use it, have fun and make some cool stuff. Thanks for checking out this video. Bye.